Hey everyone, Ronin back. We're back on it with some baby metal, and we're gonna be checking out Akatsuki. It's the unfinished version live at Legend 1997. And this is a song I've heard before. I have never heard this version of the song or heard it live. But yeah, um, unfinished version. I'm assuming this is like a kind of a broken down version of it. So I'm interested in seeing what that's like at a baby metal concert. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump on in. I don't know what's happening, but I like it. Wow. Great vocals. Sue has some some really interesting vocals like her ability to sustain is really incredible like she just hits the notes instantly and then she just sustains the hell out of it and that's kind of I feel like for me her most like her most dominant trait when it comes to vocals and it doesn't really need to be any more than that and the way she does it it's like it's so beautiful especially in this song here and in, in this unfinished version it's like actually in the very beginning i kind of got like a little emotional like the within like the first you know first few syllables that she's saying uh and just how it all like built up to that and like so i, I had to like hold back some some tears a little bit from that but this, this is actually a really fantastic version of the song. Like, it would be cool to even have, like, a little bit of a, a small, like, orchestral piece, you know, to accompany this, too. I love this so far.
so good. Not gonna lie, I half expected them to melt my face off midway through, <laughs> just to be like, okay, here's here's the uh, here's the taste of the uh, the huge over here. Nah, that was fantastic, and that's like such a good uh, showcase of Sue's vocals. It's she's fantastic. She doesn't have like the I don't want to say typical or traditional, but like uh, you know she doesn't have like the 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 typical like vibrato that. Um, some vocalists have that people look up to and things like that but she just her sustain is like insane her ability to be able to sing her songs exactly like the album is also insane because like any sort of like vocal fluctuation or just whatever she ate that day or you know whatever you know could could throw anybody off right so her ability to just hit every single note with as much precision that she has is like is is really fantastic and it's a and it's very respectable that they would maintain uh this style for this song throughout the entirety of it like i said i have expected them to just melt my face off midway through uh which is something that a lot of people do they're like they they don't they just kind of either they either want to their perspective is either giving us a mixed bag so that we get a little bit of both or or they just don't want to do the full commitment towards, you know, doing just a, a broken down version and, and keeping it that way. But that, I mean, that's, I think that's a tough decision in general of like what, how you would want to approach that in a live situation. Cause you want to give people what they want, but, um, but also giving them something different can be just as important too. Had it been up to me, I have no idea what I would have chosen to be honest, but this was fantastic. So maybe I would have gone with this just to be like, yeah, let's mix it up and do that. Give everybody a break. But at the same time, you know, uh, Sue's up there all the time, right? She's got to be. She's a pretty vital component. So, so for her to also go out there and do one, is it is a testament to the amount of stamina that these girls have. And man, anytime you see them up close, they're just like sweating profusely. And most likely, the song they're on is like the seventh or eighth song in the second set they had that day, or you know, whatever. Like just an insane amount. So, so good job to them for having the stamina that they have for being in shape and, you know, being as committed as they are to their work. And thanks for suggesting this one. I'm really glad I watched it. You know, I know people want, want me to watch new things and I will for sure. But even watching the songs that I am familiar with live, I, I've never heard any of that stuff. And they obviously do enough different to where it's, it warrants a watch. So like, you know, the amount of views I get for a video doesn't necessarily dictate what I want to watch next so it's it's kind of more about what interests me um, that usually that usually takes the cake but definitely you know I want to watch what you guys want me to watch so you know feel free to, to throw me suggestions and things like that so it looks like I've been exposed to the the self-titled album I would say I've probably heard 80 to 90 percent of that and then uh, metal resistance I've only really listened to uh, karate, maybe Road to Resistance, just because it's the first track. But I did kind of preview it earlier, and I don't really know what happens after like the first 10 seconds, to be honest. So that gives you a good idea of what I've been exposed to. Based on that, feel free to give me your suggestions, and I will do my best to check those out. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction, and I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.